So extremist right-wing radio host Michael Savage recently did a Bernie Sanders impression on air. He has roughly 12 listeners, so I'm sure that like three of the 12 thought it was funny. Uh, and here he's going to get jealous, and he's jealous about Larry David's impression of Bernie Sanders on Saturday Night Live. And he's going to go off on this awesome, awkward, conspiratorial rant where he tells you what SNL is really up to and why they're doing what they're doing. Michael, take it away. Now, now you understand why ISIL or ISIS or the Islamic uh, fascists are raging across the globe, why Obama gets away with virtual murder and printing money. It's because of a little help from his friends. See, the 60s had a song by the Beatles called I Get By With A Little Help From My Friends. I Get High With A Little Help From My Friends. And nothing's really changed. They get by with a little help from their friends. They get high with a little help from their friends. Which leads us to Saturday Night Live, a stoner channel. And there's a comedian who you have probably never heard of, a snide Brooklyn billionaire socialist named Larry David. And I was told that this snide billionaire socialist, Larry David, did a Bernie Sanders imitation this past weekend. Now, being a political left-wing fanatic like Sanders himself, David cleverly chose not to ridicule Sanders' politics. You know, he did weak jokes about underwear and radiators, that kind of thing. Now, the reason Saturday Night Live made believe that they were ridiculing Bernie Sanders was to weaken Michael Savage's strong performance when not only is Bernie Sanders the lunatic ridiculed, but more particularly Bernie Sanders' more insane Soviet economics are exposed through my comedy. Now, you have to hand it to the extreme liberal media types. When they see a genuine threat emerge on the other side in the form of someone who is as talented as I am, and they take on one of their cultural icons, you see, they bring in their biggest guns to try and triangulate the opposition, just what Hillary Clinton's been doing. Question. Did anyone see the Saturday Night Live imitation of Sanders? Who was better, me or Larry David? And did you notice how they never entertained or ridiculed his Soviet-style politics? Yes, we will talk about that. But the bigger topic is this. It's the surge of Muslims into Europe and the United States of America. The migrant influx threatens to drown the world and drag us into a thousand years of dar darkness. My friends, if you want Sharia law, then listen to Saturday Night Live while stoned on marijuana. If you think you're just smoking a J and having a good night, you don't understand that they've been brain deadening you for years. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> he goes on to explain, it's a much longer segment where he goes on to explain what SNL is doing is they're brainwashing everybody and trying to get them high and trying to get them lazy and stuff so that they can then turn around and bring in all the ISIS people and implement Sharia law here. <laughs> oh my God, this guy is an absolute lunatic. No, I'm not kidding when I say that he probably should be on psychiatric drugs if he's not already. You know, this guy needs Seroquel, this guy needs Thorazine, this guy needs some sort of thing to keep him balanced. Listen to what he's saying. And I don't doubt for a second that he believes it. You know how some right-wing commentators, we think, are they, are they acting or are they true believers? Uh, with this guy, I think he's a true believer, and he's just simply off his rocker. This is the guy who said, I don't believe in autism. I think autism is a conspiracy, so that people try to get money from the government. This is the guy who said we should just nuke, nuke and kill millions of Muslims. A in any Muslim country, just nuke and kill them. That's what we should do. Well, civilians, grandmas, mothers, children, just nuke them. Fuck them. Th that's what this guy said. L listen to this! Listen to this! SNL! SNL! SNL is on the side with fundamentalist Muslims who want to implement Sharia. SNL is with ISIS. I didn't say it. He said it. He's the one who said it. Because every time I do one of these segments, people, you know, sometimes they say, oh, you're straw manning or you're extrapolating too far. No, 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 no. You just heard him say it. I'll provide a link in the video description box. You can hear the entire uh, segment. You can hear everything. Right Wing Watch shows the multiple parts of it. Go ahead, listen to all of it. It's perfectly clear what he's saying. He thinks SNL secretly wants to implement Sharia. And I love it. She's just tying random shit together. Their Bernie Sanders impression was worse than mine. I love how jealous he is. It was worse than mine, and that's why they want Sharia. 
what the fuck are you talking about? Even if I grant you your first part of the argument, which I do not, the takeaway is not the second part of the argument. If I grant you the first part of their argument, that, ooh, they're going soft on Bernie's Soviet-style communism. Well, then wouldn't that mean they want Soviet-style communism? And communism is vehemently anti-religion, to the point of not even being secular, where you have freedom of religion, but the government is neutral. It's secularism. No, in, in like, in the Soviet Union, they, they forcibly removed religion, like, with guns and stuff. So that would be the opposite of Sharia. What the fuck are you saying, man? And then obvi that obviously also is not true. They're going soft on Bernie's communism. Well, perhaps he's not a fucking communist, and you don't know shit about political science. How many times have we gone over this? He's a social democrat, which means that he looks at Scandinavia and he goes, I think they got it right. A mix of capitalism and socialism, where certain things are run by the government, healthcare, education, and stuff like that, and other things are not. It's a free market in other respects. Communism, Stalin, Soviet Union. Clearly, SNL is sympathetic to communism because they want to implement Sharia law. No, but this shows you, man. It... They make it up as they go along. They make it up as they go along. You know, he's not connected to facts, not connected to reality. He certainly doesn't read the news. Whatever theory he pulls out of his rectum is the one that he runs with. And people wonder, like, oh, I can't... AM radio, why is it going out of style? <laughs> Other than the fact that it's AM fucking radio, this is the fucking garbage that's on it. Who listens to that and goes, I think he's got it. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. SNL made fun of the democratic debate because they want Sharia law. And I love the part where he's, he's like, whenever they hear people as talented as I am, on the other side, they have to break out the big guns. He really thinks the people at SNL, like, listen to his impression of Bernie Sanders, and they're like, ah, the right-winger did a good impression. We got to get our biggest guns, bring out uh, uh, Larry David. No, that's that's... That's not true. I bet you nobody fucking heard your thing, except your very few fans who are about 82 years old. It's so, it's so insecure as tell- Here's when people say, uh, there's- Nobody's as talented as I am. You know who says that? People who are totally insecure about their own abilities. Because you don't need to say it if it's true. Why do you need to say something like that? And the way he says it, too. It's not just like a- you know, a thing where he really is just throwing it out there. It's like, you know, thought of and... I, I need to say that I'm great because nobody else does because I'm not great. I suck at what I do. Yeah, we can see that, man. It's really sad. Maybe you should try not making shit up and then your show would get better.